Hello, I'm going to check my burnt orange brown ale. It's now Wednesday. I'm just home from work, so um, it's sitting down here. Uh, as you can see, the main ferment is over. It's still going though. Smell wise, I can't really. I'm not picking up the burnt um, smell, so which is good. Um, I'm just taking a gravity reading here as well, if it'll just focus in here, but it's sitting at about... No, it's not going to focus. 101.6 I think, so... Still a little bit to go on it yet, so... The question is... What is it going to taste like? Okay, so... Here goes nothing. Yeah, there's definitely, there's definitely still a little bit of burntness in there, or burnedness, should I say, as we're reinventing the dictionary this week. So yeah, I think I might have to do something. I mean, it's been suggested by people that we should just let it go and the yeast will clean up. Obviously it's hard for you to tell, because you're not here and I am, but it is definitely still there. It's not It's not the number one thing I'm tasting, but it is definitely in there. Obviously it's, you know, it's still fermenting. Hmm, it's a tricky one. I'll have to come back and have a think about it. I'll maybe go and get my dinner and come back. Okay, see you later. Okay, I'm back. Um, what I've done then is I'm not going to go for a dry hop just yet. I'm not going to leave it. But what I'm going to do, or what I have done, is that I've boiled um, one liter of water, dissolved 70 grams of dark brown sugar into it to make up a little solution, and then I've bo I've boiled 25 grams of Fuggles for five minutes, and I put the rest of the Admiral in as well, a flame out, which was about another 18 grams. So, yeah, I'm going to put that now into the fermenter. And then I'm going to leave it and then see if it makes a difference. Um, I've put a little bit of um, sugar into it just um, to try and even out a little bit of the the litre of water. Because it's not really a litre of water now. Um, because I, put, I use pellet hops. Um, I actually just... I put the pellet hops straight into the pot, the pot that was boiling as well too, without using a bag. And it's become a bit of a mess, so I've had to fish them all out. And um, yeah, this is kind of the, this is kind of part of what it is. So there's about 500 grams in there, so that's is going into the fermenter down there right now. So let's do that. Again, I'll try not to splash it. Just do it up the sides. We gotta hope for the best. The fuggles have been in my freezer for for a long time. It said on the pack 2012 harvest. So yeah. Once you do it, I'm waiting to get the other one. About 200, 200 milliliters going in. I'm downstairs. I went with the re-ferment option. It's not really a re-ferment though. It's only used 70 grams. Um, but I wanted to get a bit more hoppage in there. We'll see if it works or not. Um, I've kind of done the same thing with the lager. With a lot more sugar and it hasn't affected it. So I don't see why it would affect it this time. So, But again, we'll see what happens. Um, I'll try it again the weekend. Um, I usually leave it in the fermenter for two weeks, two full weeks, so I still have plenty of time to do a dry hop on it as well, so. So yeah, I'm downstairs, I've just finished, I've got a drink as well, so happy homebrew Wednesday. I'm not often down here, I'm normally upstairs, because there's a stair gate at the bottom of the stairs. The kids can't get up and just annoy me, so. But everyone's away to bed, so I'm just down here catching up on a bit of 
cycling. So I'm watching Torano Adriatico from last week, so don't tell me who won. So I don't think there's much more to add. Um, I think I'll just leave it there and I'll just say, uh, Nostradamus.